Hello and welcome to another episode of 7 O'Clock Spurs with me, Jack Bryden. First up today, apparently we are the bookies' favourites to sign Daniel Sturridge if he is to leave Liverpool in the summer. Now, he's not been very happy at the club since, uh, well, for a very long time now because he's been permanently injured. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there's talk of him leaving the club in the summer now, despite the fact he signed a five-year contract in 2014, which was worth 140 grand a week. Uh, he's made 19 appearances for Liverpool last season, six this season, all due to injuries. Um, he has got England experience. He played in the World Cup finals, if you remember, actually scored a goal as well. Um, Roy Hodgson really likes him as a player. He said he's one of England's uh, most natural strikers in, well, obviously in the country. But you're thinking about Harry Kane and Jamie Vardy as well. But um, he's 26 years old. He's at, he has got a bit of experience, which is potentially something that we could do with. You know, we've got a very young squad, but then we do have players like Toby and that uh, and Hugo that have got international experience as well. Um, something that I would say is that Daniel Sturridge, I suppose it's an, a question really, does he have the right attitude to play for Spurs? You know, Pochettino now has this big thing about bringing the right players in that would fit in with the group. There's a great team morale at the moment. So would Daniel Sturridge be the sort of person that would fit in like that? Would he bring the experience that we need? Another thing to do with this is he'd have to play second fiddle to Harry Kane. So would that be something that would be a problem? I would say yes. But then could you also push Daniel Sturridge out on the on one of the wings? Oh, he's arguably could be a better player out there and would get more success. I mean, that's the reason why he ended leaving Chelsea in the end, was because he didn't want to have to play on the wings. He wanted to play up front as a striker. So, yeah, I mean... Bookie's favourite signs Daniel Sturridge in the summer. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And up next, Mauricio Pochettino had a press conference yesterday and he was very frank in saying that the next few years are going to be tough for us because of the building of the stadium and also the reason we weren't active in this transfer window was because of that said stadium. Now, I don't know about you, but I am quite confident the squad that we have at the moment, should they stay together and players don't leave, etc, etc, then we do have a good enough squad to, to carry us through those next few seasons. And I don't see many of those people leaving if we've got a new stadium on its way, there's exciting times at the club, everything seems to be quite rosy at the moment. Sh should everything stay the same and we get youth, lots of good youth players coming through as well, then why would you want to leave the club? You know, yes, it's £400 million. Yes, we do need to be um, good with our money. But if you, you can add one or two players with that bit of money that we have, Daniel Levy's well documented in being frugal with his money. So, you know, I don't think that will necessarily be too much of a problem. And I'm not particularly worried, but are you? Let me know in the comments section below. And that's it for today's 7 o'clock Spurs. Make sure to come back tomorrow where we will be covering the game against Watford. Make sure to like this video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then do so, please. And follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. How's it going, people? Welcome to another match preview. And this time, Tottenham Hotspur are taking on Watford at the synagogue at White Hart Lane.